engineering school don't tell you is that how badly it prepares you for actual engineering work. If only I knew about the disturbing differences between studying and work, I would have come out much better prepared. First shocking discovery I found is that the lack of clarity in my job. In schools, assignments and due dates are always clear. Test questions and coursework are carefully written to provide all the necessary variables for you to solve. With that, there's always a right and wrong way to do things, and a correct answer to any problems. However at work, as I mentioned before, there's a lack of clarity, where you get vague tasks like something broke, or I need something to do this, and due dates are always ASAP. What I mean by this is that engineering school doesn't really teach you abstract thinking and the ability to work with minimal inputs, which, you know, engineering work is mostly consists of. When I just joined the company I currently work at, literally second week on my job, my manager just came up to me one day and handed me a PCB board and straight up told me, this board is now yours, now come up with a test design for this board and report back to me ASAP. In my mind, I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? I was completely thrown into the deep water right away. I literally had to learn everything on the fly. Hey, I'm not really complaining though, because I've learned a ton. But it was definitely a big switch for me. Well, I want to tell you this. Learning becomes much more fun and enjoyable while you're working than you were studying. Literally, studying in engineering school was super difficult and not fun at all. As there's always deadlines and objectives to meet. It was just not it. Those countless hours of reading textbooks on electromagnetism, VHDL, analog circuits, and going over questions and practice problem sheets countless of times just to answer a few damn questions on some worthless piece of paper. At some point in time, you probably thought to yourself like, man, how useful are all these stuff that I'm learning? Then you start to hate engineering altogether while questioning yourself. Is engineering really for me? Is it actually really what I'm passionate about? Let me tell you this. You didn't really lose passion for engineering. What you really lost passion for is for academics. And this is what I've discovered during my internship, which was super crucial to me to realizing where my true passion lies. It made me remember why I like engineering in the first place, which is the creativity aspect of it, as well as the craft of it. What I mean by this is that you can turn an idea in your mind and make it come to life. Not all hope is lost, guys. Be patient, push through it, and get that degree. I'm telling you, you'll not regret it. Unless you're in it for the money, then, well, that's a whole different story. Other things that I've discovered is there's less bullshitting at work. So what I mean by this is that when a teacher asks you, looking at this circuit board that one of our students broke, can anybody tell me the reasons why it broke. Anybody? No, anybody? Anybody else? Oh. Okay. You over there? Yeah, go ahead. Well, I believe it broke because there was a sustained overvoltage from the power supply that overheated the resistors due to the excessive current draw yeah. until the components cannot handle due to their rating and the components crack and explode. It. Was that right, Professor? While that work, it goes more something like this. Anybody here has any ideas of the reasons why the circuit board broke? Anybody? Well, huh? I think we all believe that it broke because the magic smoke escaped again. Ah, the magic smoke again. It's always that. It's always that. What I'm trying to say here is that being an engineer, you have to be more precise of what you know and what you don't know which I feel engineering school doesn't really teach you that. As engineers, we'll try to minimize as much assumptions as possible. When they haven't diagnosed anything yet, anything is up for possibilities. I feel like this is also because of how university work, where they take a more theoretical approach to things and less of a practical way of learning. I was surprised on how little math I used during my internship or my work as an engineer. But that really depends on what job you're going to get. So if you're a researcher, then of course, probably use a lot of math. Maybe a communication engineer could use a lot of math as well. But for hardware electronics, or at least what my work is right now, there's very little mathematics I use. What most of my days consisted of was researching, reading up on data sheets, creating design proposals, and designing schematics and PCB, prototyping to programming, 
Like, I don't get why our engineering school is not spending more time teaching you practical skills like this. Then, mostly all the theoretical knowledge that you barely use. If I had to start over, I would definitely apply for a co-op program rather than a traditional university style. Because I feel like you learn way more during internship than during your, during your years in university. It really gives you a more applicable knowledge. And that's what engineering is all about. It's about applying what you learn and your knowledge and your ideas. What I'm going to say next is definitely going to be a tough one. The 8 to 5, 9 to 6 work hours, it's just tough, man. And there's just no real break for you when you work. You see, there's a really lack of real breaks where it's just never ending work. So if you finish a project or a task, there is more tasks that you can do. And there's never rest. You don't have time to take a breather once you finish something big. Like when you did in university and in college. With work, you have to find your own goals and schedule. And quote unquote breaks, as I call it. What do you get, like 25 holidays? That's so short compared to like how much time you get off uni. Like spring break, summer break, winter break. Like, come on. Is this really what life is about? Working all day? Fuck. Engineering school was awesome in a sense that you had so much freedom on how you manage and spend your time. So like you could spend time chilling between classes or sometimes you can sleep in and catch up on work later. Then you realize for the past few weeks you didn't do jack shit and now you're pulling an all-nighter to finish your assignment. Ah, <sighs> tragic times. Taking a year off from my studies to work as a junior electronics engineer really opened my eyes. It made me realize how different it is working as an engineer compared to being an engineering student. Knowing that I have to come back next year for my studies, I'm more motivated than ever as I found my focus point and a reason for me to study. If you want to learn more about the technical skills and soft skills that you can learn during an internship that engineering schools don't really teach you, you can check out my video on what I've learned during my internship here.